Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be guiding you guys to becoming the best student, the valedictorian, or just getting the best possible grades and becoming that one student that everyone just admires. The student who just seamlessly can manage school life, extracurriculars, home life, work, sports. We're gonna go through it all today. Okay, as many of you guys know, I am a perfectionist, I'm a high achiever, and I spend a lot of time studying, doing lots of school. In fact, right now, it is summer, and I'm going through a seven-week Harvard course. So, your girl has a lot going on, and I've really learned how I can start to manage school life, home life, work, boards, literally everything. I wanted to share with you all how I managed to do that, and how you guys can too. First up, effective study habits. Being organized and strategic about your studies is key. So number one, stay organized. Use planners or digital tools to keep track of assignments, essays, tests, quizzes, anything big that will have an impact on your overall grade. Trust me, this makes a huge difference. I keep a little planner where I write down all of the big deadlines. In fact, I'm gonna show it to you guys. So this is the planner I use. Not just a Bible verse on the front because it's a Christian planner, but it's really awesome. I write all of my deadlines on the monthly part. So right now I'm doing my Harvard program, which is essentially a college, two college classes that are meant to be done in less than one semester so i have all my deadlines written on here and it really helps me stay on track because i check this daily same with my sat studying i write down the deadlines or like the timeline of when i'm studying what i'm studying each day leading up to my sat and then obviously i write down my daily tasks and generally half of my daily tasks include school assignments or studying so this is such a big tip especially if you're a really organized person like me it's really important that you have an organized specific clarified schedule that will allow you to optimize your time number two set specific goals break down some of your larger goals into smaller more manageable tasks will help keep you focused and motivated i write down my school or my studying goals um, almost every week and also at the very beginning of the school year this helps me kind of have that motivation and keep me keeps me really productive it's just that goal that you have in the back of your mind that's really going to help keep you motivated and urge you to become a better student number three Create a study schedule. This is similar to the staying organized part, but this is a little different. I want you to allocate certain times of the day to certain subjects or certain classes and then stick to that schedule. Consistency is key here. If you stick to the schedule and you have a certain amount of time or a time range that you are going to study, this is going to help you tremendously. So maybe instead of scrolling on your phone when you first wake up in the morning you open up that textbook and look through it and are like okay you know what i have a test today we're gonna go through this we're gonna write some notes they'll organize and i'm productive that could be a part of your schedule but definitely have a set in stone schedule that you rarely break that you can allow to become a habit number four active learning so engage with your teacher or your professor's materials by taking notes, summarizing information, and even teaching it to someone else or pretending like you're teaching. This is my biggest trick to studying smarter, not harder, okay? Active learning is so important. Literally, you will like rarely have to study if you just achieve a space where you can actively learn. So for me, generally what happens for my Harvard program is I kind of tune everything out, I zone into my lessons, and I focus solely on those lessons. Sometimes this is really difficult. If you need some help with this, drink some caffeine. That always helped me have laser focus. But have an environment that will really help you focus. Don't be on your bed watching it. Sit at your desk. Sit at a different place that you have designated to study. This is really going to reinforce your understanding of the class or content. Number five, 
utilize resources. So really take advantage of your textbooks, online resources, study tools, study group, and office hours with teachers. Don't do it alone. I'm urging you with this one, okay? There is so many study materials all over the internet, especially YouTube. If I ever have a really hard time understanding a concept, I go onto YouTube, type it in, and you are going to find so many options there. I definitely recommend that one. I swear in my life, you will find so many options and it'll be incredible for, for helping you maintain or even just have a full new understanding of the class material. Now, let's talk about time management. Number one, I want you to prioritize certain tasks. Focus on the most important and the most urgent tasks first. This will ensure that you're working on whatever matters most. For me, if I have a test the next day, I'm obviously going to do that first. I'm going to prioritize that task to make sure it happens, to make sure it gets done. And then maybe I'll move on to some of the smaller tasks, tasks like studying for the SAT that's in two months. Number two, avoid procrastination. I know this is a hard one for some of us who really struggle with procrastination, but just break your tasks into smaller steps and they will seem way less stressful and daunting if you just say, okay, you know what? I'm only gonna spend 10 minutes today. And it kind of tricks your brain into thinking that like, okay, I'm only gonna spend 10 minutes on this. And trust me, after those 10 minutes, if you really zoned in, you will feel like you could keep going for the next two hours. Number three, use your breaks wisely. Take short breaks between study sessions to kind of just rest and recharge. This will help you maintain your productivity. I generally during my breaks will just stretch, take a walk, something that will help my brain kind of relax so I'm not laser focused because that will ultimately for me lead to burnout. Okay, next up is the self-care aspect of becoming the best student. Nobody's gonna look at you and be like, that student is perfect, that student is great, unless you also have this self-care aspect down. Taking care of yourself is literally just as important, if not more important than studying. So number one, get enough sleep. This will also help with studying. Just get seven to nine hours of sleep each night to keep your mind steady and sharp. Number two, eat healthily. I cannot emphasize brain food enough. Okay, I know it's kind of one of those stupid concepts that you're taught in elementary school and they're like, eat vegetables and you'll be smart. But it's really true. Like if you fuel your body with good food, food you're gonna feel a lot better. Trust me, you know that I'm sure you have felt the difference from like eating hot Cheetos all day your brain feels exhausted and your body just overall feels tired compared to like when you feel yourself with good, healthy, nutritious food. Number three, exercise regularly. There's tons of benefits to exercising, but two of them that are really impactful are reducing stress and improving concentration. This will help with your studying game no matter what, and it will also keep you looking and feeling healthy. Number four, manage stress. Practice relaxation techniques like deep breathing, meditation, or yoga. This is kind of going to give you that more grounded, all together vibe from other people and also for yourself. It'll just help you with your studying also because when we feel grounded and we feel present, we're more prone to taking in the inf information that we're learning. Let's move on to some classroom strategies. Number one, attend classes regularly. Being present in class helps you understand the material better and keep up with coursework. Number two, participate actively. Engage in class discussions, ask a lot of questions, especially if you think that they are significant or impactful to your class, and seek lots of clarification when needed. Number three, stay focused. Minimize distractions during class and while studying. Here are just a few last little tips to kind of end things off. Number one, seek help when needed. Don't hesitate to ask teachers or classmates for help if you're struggling with a topic, especially if you know it with smart classmates. Classmate, I know sometimes teachers can be really intimidating. So asking somebody who is at a place where you think they'll probably know the answer or they'll be able to help you. Maybe this is an older sibling or a classmate, whatever it is, ask them. I'm sure they'll be able to help. And if not them, teachers. Number two, stay motivated. Keep reminding yourself of your goals and the reasons that why why you want to achieve them. Really dig deep into that why aspect because if you don't know why you want to get good grades, why you want to be the best student, then you're going to have no motivation to do any of it. Number three, balance your academics with 
home life, life in general. Ensure that you have time for hobbies, social activities, and relaxation to maintain a healthy balance between it all. Lastly, I want to emphasize regularly reviewing and adapting your strategies. I want you to reflect on your progress. So regularly review your progress and adjust your strategies as needed. This is really important when it comes to studying for quizzes or tests. For example, with the SAT right now, I am adapting my strategies and changing as much as I possibly need to optimize all of my study time so I can achieve the most desired score. Stay flexible. Be willing to adapt your study habits and schedules to find what works for you. You don't have to have a strict, strict schedule. Like I said, it can change. Maybe you want to change your study schedule every single week. That's okay, as long as you're having a schedule that you can maintain consistently. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Becoming a straight A student is all about consistent effort and smart strategies. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you know Never miss an update. Thanks for watching and good luck with your studies this year.